Hello learners, once again welcome to the class. Today I am going to discuss with you about the management of learning situations. A class constitutes of a group of students in most cases of same age and a teacher to teach and facilitate students learning. The teacher of a class knows his or her students very well. Usually one of the rooms in the school specially constructed for the purpose of accommodating a class is called a classroom. Ideally, there should be a room for each class or each section of a class. However, in several schools, you will find the number of rooms to be less than the number of classes. In such schools, one room is used to accommodate more than one class. Besides the teacher and students, what do you think are other elements that constitute a classroom environment? Consider a situation where the classroom in which Miss Vera went to teach and had a roof leaking, the floor and seats wet and the seats and the materials scattered around the class. Certainly, these are not congenial for children to focus on any activity. What could you have done if you were in place of Miss Bira? Surely, you must have taken care to ensure a safe, secure and comfortable condition for your classroom. This relates to the physical conditions of the classroom which needs to provide security and comfort to children. The physical environment of the classroom also includes the resource materials available in the classroom which can be used both by the children and the teachers to facilitate learning. Suppose you have a classroom with sound physical conditions and adequate materials needed for use by you and your students. In spite of such favorable conditions, you observe the students in the class quarreling with each other and you are quite desperate about it. Surely the climate in your classroom prevailing at that moment is not congenial for teaching learning process to continue. Therefore, three aspects are to be taken care of in order to build a learner-friendly classroom climate. 1. Creating a learner-friendly environment. The classroom environment should be such that each and every child feels comfortable, joyful and feel encouraged to use his or her potential optimally for learning. There are three possible categories of classroom in terms of classroom management. For creating an enabling learning environment, what you need is to look for reasonably comfortable physical conditions of your classroom. Next is physical environment of the classroom. A good classroom is like a home away from home for both the teacher and the students. It should thus be safe, secured, attractive and functional, keeping in mind the grade, age appropriateness and the type of classroom activities the teacher and the students will perform, etc. A classroom environment communicates a bit good about what the classroom is like. The physical atmosphere of a classroom speaks about the nature of students and the teacher of the class. Next is physical condition of classroom. The classroom needs to be a part of a pakka building without any leakage in the roof. The walls and the floors should be properly plastered without any edges that can cause injury to children. The room is to be well ventilated and sufficiently lighted with large doors and windows facilitating cross ventilation which would make the environment of the room comfortable and pleasant for children. Lack of these will affect students' concentration. Plants outside the classroom are also excellent for improving the quality of air to have a good outside view from within the classroom. There should be sufficient space available in the classroom for conducting any group work. Always remember that classroom environment should be congenial and safe for the students. Dear learners, some roles of a teacher in enhancing physical climate classrooms are Always try to ensure safe and secure conditions of the building in which the class functions. Any damage on the floor and wall 
need to be got repaired immediately. Always try to draw attention of the school authorities for regular maintenance of the school building. Encourage students for beautification of the classroom walls with paintings and activity charts. Always try to ensure that the classroom is clean before the class begins and at the end of school hours. Students need to be encouraged to share the different activities like cleaning, disposal of garbage, etc. among themselves. Always place a dustbin in the classroom for systematic disposal of garbage of the classroom. Try to check that all the materials are in place and properly arranged after use. Well learners, the human relationship in the classroom is very important. So how can we improve this relationship in the classroom? Let us discuss something on that. As a student yourself or as a teacher, you might have experienced that there are teachers with whom all the students of a class are attached. That is, the students love to interact with them and feel free to talk and ask questions, like to spend more time with them, obey them with love and respect and can do whatever such teachers can ask them to do. Thus, we can say that the bond between the teacher and students determines the quality of the human relationship. To create a learning friendly human environment, you have to keep certain things in mind. Let us take a look at some do's and don'ts that you have to follow in the classroom. Regarding the do's, always be understanding and sensitive to the emotional and academic needs of the students. Always try to be proactive to students' cause. Give them maximum opportunities and to participate in all the activities of the school. By working together, the bonds between the teacher and the students and among students get strengthened. Always be patient and systematic while dealing with problem children in the classroom. Use pleasant words with firmness while handling indiscipline activities. Encourage cooperation and collaboration among students. Always try to encourage healthy interaction among students through group activities. Learners, certain don'ts are also to be followed while you are in the school or working in the classroom. Firstly, don't use or encourage others to use harsh, dispersing or discouraging words. Do not encourage any discriminatory words or practices in the class. Do not encourage unhealthy comparison and competitions among students. Do not demean the performance of poor performers in the class, rather try to provide them alternative scopes to enhance their performance. Well-organized and well-furnished classrooms motivate students for learning. It conveys the message that you care for your students. To make positive environments for learning in your classroom, make sure that all necessary items are in place before the students enter the class. Even in small schools, with a few resources, a good teacher can create a well-ordered classroom that encourages learning. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much.